Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder. I'm standing next to a thousand gallon pit on a trailer. Today we're doing something extra, extra exciting, something I've never even seen before. We're gonna give this away to one of you. To make this giveaway possible and as a way to say thank you to all you viewers out there, I partnered with a small veteran owned business to make this a reality. It's very simple. All you have to do is go to getentertowin.com forward slash mad scientist BBQ. You buy an awesome barbecue coffee mug and you get entered to win this thousand gallon trailer pit. Guys, I forgot to tell you, all you have to do is click on the link in the description. Now I've seen a lot of giveaways that people have done. They've given away knives, they've given away thermometers, they've given away some things that are actually very good, but I've never seen anyone do anything close to this. This is a thousand gallon pit on a trailer and as a matter of fact we're going to be taking this thing to texas and putting it through its paces so if you want to see that content be sure to stick around you can subscribe to the channel to see this journey and eventually who it ends up with when i wanted to do a giveaway i wanted something really extra special and i thought what is the coolest thing i could possibly give away in barbecue and i thought the coolest thing you could ever give away is a thousand gallon pit on a trailer and that's exactly what we have here so if you've been wanting to start your own barbecue business Here's the ticket right here. If you want something that's big enough to cook for any group you could ever possibly need to cook for, this is gonna do it for you. Or if you just wanna win this thing, sell it and buy the Rolls Royce of Backyard Pits and pocket the difference, that's fine with me too. But whatever your needs are, this is something you definitely wanna win. So let's talk about the features of this smoker and what we're gonna do with it. First, there are four doors and you'll see that they all have counterweights, which means you're gonna have some resistance at the bottom, but when you get to the top, it's going to make it really easy to open these doors. You have four tell true thermometers on there so you can be sure that it's reading the temperature that you want. Boom, ba -dum, boom. Most grills and smokers will brag about how many square inches of cooking space they have. With a smoker this big, you're probably better off talking about square feet of cooking space you have. Another really cool feature about this smoker is it has a baffle in it, but if you guys know me, I'm usually against baffles. I don't like them because most everybody puts baffles that go either straight out or they point down. It inhibits airflow, gives you a huge hot spot, but this one is the exact opposite. It's got a baffle that shoots all the hot gases from the firebox directly up to the top of the chamber so those hot gases don't burn the barbecue you're trying to make perfect. I'm a huge fan of that design and it really helps give even temperatures from one end of the smoker to the other so that if you're cooking something close to the firebox or feet away closer to the smokestack, you're gonna get even cooking no matter where it is. With offset smokers, an important thing that you're gonna to wanna to know about is how thick is the steel. And this being an old propane tank, the steel is nice and thick. It's over a quarter of an inch, which means you're gonna have great heat retention and it's gonna last forever. Another important feature is that it's got two axles, which is a huge help. The weight is distributed really well, so you don't have too, too much tongue weight, and it will pull nice and easy. Now, if you're worried about whether this thing is roadworthy, well, fear not. We're gonna take it all the way to Texas. We're gonna test it out for you beforehand. Now, this firebox is one of the coolest parts of the whole smoker. Most of the time, a firebox for a pit this size is a 250-gallon tank cut in half. This is a 500-gallon tank cut in half for the outside and on the inside instead of having a sleeve that's 24 inches in diameter this one is 30 inches in diameter the inside is a 250 gallon tank cut in half and in between is insulation so this thing is going to cook extremely efficiently but a problem that you run into oftentimes with insulated smokers is that those gases that enter the cook chamber are crazy hot but because of that scoop forcing those hot gases to go to the very top of the chamber it's going to spare all of your food from getting burned so it's got the best of both worlds. It's got crazy efficiency, along with very even cooking from one end to the other. Another cool feature of this pit that I really like is that you can use this door like a traditional Texas pit. You can have it cracked, you can have it wide open, you can adjust your airflow with the door itself, or something that's really cool is you can have the door closed and just use this damper to make micro adjustments for precise air control. Now, the last feature we're gonna talk about for this pit is the stack, and the stack definitely matters. This is a 10 inch diameter stack, that's internal diameter. It's 3 8 of an inch thick, so the outside diameter is 10 and 3 quarters inches, and it's foldable, which is a huge help because this sticks really high up in the air, so when you're driving with this pit, because you're gonna be able to, because it's on a trailer, you can have it folded down so you can get wherever you need to go. 
The large diameter and thick metal are gonna make the draw on this smoker work in your favor. So you can damp it down if you want, you can have it ripping through there depending on your needs, but whatever you do, you always wanna make sure that you have a smoker that has plenty of draw. This has got plenty of that. As Eric from Fatstack would say, it draws like Walt Disney. So to properly give this smoker a send off, we're actually gonna hook it up to the truck. We're gonna drive to Texas and we're gonna be doing some cooking with some barbecue royalty. So people that you'll all know. And as part of that, I'm gonna get them to sign it if I can get that worked out. So you're gonna get something that's gonna be a thousand gallon pit on a trailer, but hopefully signed by some of the best in barbecue. Now, what I want from you guys is to let me know what you wanna see me cook on it while I'm in Texas. So I'm already planning on doing some really cool stuff. If you guys have any ideas, put those in the comments. I'm gonna read through those and hopefully we can make it happen while we're there. So just in case you missed it, if you want this smoker to be yours, all you have to do is go to getentertowin.com forward slash mad scientist barbecue. We partnered with a veteran owned small business to make this a reality. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I know whoever wins this thing is gonna absolutely love it. So go over there, you get an awesome coffee mug and you get your own chance to have a thousand gallon smoker on a trailer. Once again, I forgot to tell you, just click on the link in the description. I can't wait to see what this trip to Texas holds in store for us. You can follow our progress on Instagram. We're gonna do some public events. So if you wanna come out and eat food that I have cooked on this smoker or somebody famous has cooked on this smoker, be sure to check out the Instagram. We're gonna put where we'll be and when you can show up and get free food. So check that out. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Mad Scientist BBQ. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you wanna see me cook in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.